everybody oh my god i'm super 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 excited to be here excuse my voice i came down with the cold but i said i couldn't miss this so i'm super honored to be here thank you so much adrian for giving me this opportunity and i want to start by thanking you all for all the amazing work that you do for the community i see it at the back and i'm just like you are so awesome thank you so much so um my name is priscilla as you already know, I'm originally from Cameroon and I live in Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm the last of a family of five, the only one here. So how did I find myself in this amazing community? Um, I got to a point in my life while working where I gained so much weight um, because I had so much busy schedule, I guess, and I didn't have time for personal care. So I was looking for something that could help me to, um, drop the weight, uh, something that is sustainable, something that is convenient. And that's how I got introduced to the amazing Juice Plus product. I got connected to a sister who is actually based in Europe, not in America. And she told me about this amazing product that are plant-based, they're natural, and they are the most researched product. And I say, hey, um, I would like to give that a try. So that's how I got introduced to the product. Um, as you saw in the picture, yes, I did lose the weight um, using the Shred 10 program. And I noticed after starting the product that not only did I lose the weight, I started gaining so much energy. So to me, I was like, I cannot keep this to myself. I have to share it with the people that I care about. Cause there are a lot of people that go out there. They don't even have that energy to sustain their day, but here I was for charge throughout my day. So that's why I decided initially to join the business because it made sense to me. And I was like, I have to tell people about this. So it made sense to join the business um, and share this with others and earn extra income on the site. And then as I got connected with more people in the community, as I started building a team, I saw what this was doing for other people. I saw what this was doing for those in my team, giving voice to, to ladies that thought they had no voice giving a, a sense of purpose to people that had lost their sense of purpose, making people dream, making me dream more. So it became something that was more than just sharing. It became to me like a mission that I have to reach as many people as I can, especially people around my age group, because we all know sometimes youth, they tend to just live life without caring so much because we feel we are young and we are energetic, but forgetting to know that what you do now, it affects you as you age. So that became a mission for me to reach as many people as possible. And then um, attending the conference, I think I already shared that part of my story. I saw that we needed more of us to join hands together and keep preaching the mission. So that got me more fired up. And that's why every day I get so passionate about this. A day doesn't go by without me talking about this plus because it's part of me right now, it's part of me. And my why is right now is not just to get healthier, but to make sure I help many other people get healthier as well. It's not only to earn income, but to make sure that I give this opportunity to as many people as possible. And then how did I even start with the tower garden, which is the topic for today. I grew up in Africa and our primary source of living or our primary source of income was farming. My parents are farmers. so I. I learned how to grow in the soil. But moving to the US, I kind of got disconnected with how I grew up because I could not grow in the farm. There's no like a large space and all that. So when I found out about our garden, I was super excited because again, I could be connected to my root. It's not just growing for fun. It keeps me connected to where I come from. And now I can actually grow some of the vegetables that I miss from back home. So, um, and again, watching the news recently and learning about food recalls or hearing the frequent food recalls and also going to the grocery store and noticing that if you look at the vegetable aisles, it's always almost empty. I mean, to me, it's like, okay, you're not just connected to your road, you're doing something about your food source. You're taking control of your food source and you're taking control of your food security. So if you're out there and you're looking to get into this, I think this is a great time because, I mean, when you watch the news, it, get, it gets really scary. And now is the time to do something. Don't wait to, to react. 
let's be proactive about how we handle our food source. So at this point, I think I'm going to go right to show my tower garden right here. And I have some kale going up here. My kale, I have my celery, and I have my habanero pepper. We love spicy food coming from Africa, so I make sure I'm going that. And this is um, watercress. I love to do some green things with that. So this is like two weeks old. It just means that when you start growing, it grows really fast. And you don't have to have any experience. Because I mean, when I started this, I didn't have any experience doing that. So I have the watercress over here. And I have my little basil, one of my um, like spacious spices I love to use to cook. And basil right here. And of course, I have my meat. So it actually beautifies your living room. That's kind of like a picture, a picture of my tower garden. All right. 